Pro Sports in North America are gearing up for the COVID games of 2020, or at least most of them are anyway. And we have some news from NHL Seattle. The NHL has started letting players practice in their facilities, and the NBA gets ever closer to being the first league to return from the pause. But even has most of the leagues gear up to start actually playing games again, and even as the NFL still claims it plans on playing a full season, we see more and more players testing positive for COVID-19. We've already seen players from the Broncos, Cowboys, Texans, 49ers, Maple Leafs, Lightning, and Phillies, among others, and by the time this video releases at the rate news is coming out, probably even more, test positive, which really throws into question whether or not this can actually even happen, and even if it does, how long it can be sustained for. And not that it should matter when it comes to the safety of players, or for that matter team personnel, from what is potentially a life-threatening disease. But the names that we've seen attached to this aren't just ones that no one's ever heard before. There have been some pretty big names that have tested positive, like Ezekiel, Austin Matthews, or one of the first big names in Von Miller, who, being someone that also has asthma, spoke about his experience having had the virus, saying that it was frightening and that it felt like his lungs at times were constricting. And yeah, for anybody that would be a frightening and unsettling experience, much less for somebody who is a professional athlete and practices and plays in the thin air of Denver. Now, yes, granted, the NBA and NHL aren't going to be playing anywhere near the altitude of Denver, so at least they'll have plenty of air. And the MLB is doing its best to make sure this season is lost to squabbling over money rather than COVID-19. Who knows, though? Maybe they're just trying to get a head start on what is sure to be a very uh, fun CBA negotiation in this next season. But unfortunately, this is probably much more of a prequel than it is an early screening for what is to come next spring. So are we actually going to get to see some of these sports happen, or are we just kidding ourselves at this point? Well, truthfully, there's really no way of knowing. We just have to take things day by day. All we do know is that the NFL has still not wavered from saying that they're going to practice a full season, even if they are looking into different potential face mask ideas. Meanwhile, the NHL seems to be closing in on some hub cities, which really can't come soon enough, because with already the Lightning having to shut down their main facility, what they really need is to get any players that they feel like are going to be able to play, into that one area and start controlling it as much as they can all in one go. Really the closest we have to a sure thing at this point is the NBA, who is fully committed to their Disney World plan and making sure that they can get as many players as feel safe and are willing to spend two months living in Disney World there and practicing and under control. And I guess if you're a player and you're going to be secluded and quarantined off in some corner for a couple of months, Disney World's not a bad place for that to happen, especially if they do get the players some access to the park. I mean, at least they'll have a small world to remind them of their new situation. Ultimately, yes, I do think we're going to get to see some games, even if they don't quite look like what we're used to, and even if not all the players that we would expect to be there are actually there. Ultimately, what it comes down to is the fact that this is millions, and for the owners, billions of dollars that are up in the air, and they certainly don't want to lose out on that. And that brings us to the other bit of news and NHL Seattle. And this part may not be as well polished because I might just have to go on a bit of a rant here, so I apologize for that in advance. The first piece of the news was that we found out that their arena for the renovated key arena isn't going to actually open until probably August or September, being pushed back a couple of months from when they originally planned for it to open. And yeah, that's not ideal, but honestly, I don't really think that that's much of a big deal because that's still going to be before the NHL season starts in 2021. And while, again, it's not what they were planning for, it still is pretty impressive that, that to this point they've only lost a couple of months. Usually projects, even without a global pandemic, get pushed back a little bit. So the fact that a pandemic has only slowed them down by a couple of months so far is actually pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. And yes, I do get that it's a little bit worrying losing that little bit of buffer before what would be the start of the 2021 season would be, especially with still a year of construction and worries about whether or not a second wave of COVID is coming still left between now and then. But honestly, I think it's a little bit optimistic to even assume that the 2021 season is going to be starting on time. The 2020 season isn't going to be starting until December at the earliest anyway, and I have a hard time seeing them just wanting to play a half season, especially with how this season ended. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them try and play a full season and end next year a little bit late as well, and then see 2021 get pushed back to maybe November. What is bad news though is that they have announced that they're pushing back the announcement of the team name until at least October and possibly indefinitely. 
which means this team might never actually get a name. I mean, honestly, at this point, who knows? First, they told us that they're going to try and get it to as October of 2019. Now we're at October of 2020 after numerous points of pushing it back, saying, no, 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 we're, we're going to have it ready. We're sorry it's been a big wait, but we're going to have it ready. It's, it's not happening. Like, this, this is ridiculous at this point. They're saying it's because they've had numerous issues with the legal hoops that you have to jump through and trademarking in order to officially get the team name, and that they've been using that time to fully flush out a number of ideas and kind of just see which one ends up being the best in the end. To be honest with you, as frustrated as I am with them for how they've handled this whole team announcement thing, I am willing to give them a little bit of benefit of the doubt here because I have to imagine that it is almost impossible to have any idea what a legal process timeline looks like right now. It's already kind of a nightmare as it is, and I'm sure any kind of legal system has been thrown as much out of whack as anything else by this whole COVID issue. But I still think this whole thing has been handled pretty poorly by them. I mean, I get that there's no way of really knowing, when the trademark is going to come through and what timeline to even expect with everything that's going on. But don't keep dangling a carrot out in front of us of it's going to happen in the next couple of months. Oh, nope, it didn't happen. Sorry. It's going to happen in the next couple of months. Oh, not again. Oh, crap. Uh, well, maybe the next couple of months. At least just give us a time that is maybe way out in the future, way after you think you actually will have that, even if it's going to be like January of next year. Yeah, it might come through in October, but then at least if there is another delay, we aren't waiting with more and more promises of it being a little bit farther out and then a little bit farther out. And if that's not the route you want to go and you really do want to tell us as soon as the trademark gets through and you have the name officially, then at least be a little bit more transparent with the process as much as you possibly can. That way we have a little bit of an idea of how the legal system is causing the issues and it's not just a bunch of vague things that we really have no idea and no one else to blame but the team itself. Ultimately at this point though, it really doesn't matter when they say we're going to get a team name, there's no way of believing it. We really are not going to know until the name is officially announced. I mean honestly, I could be sitting down watching a live stream of the team name announcement and I won't even be sure whether or not to believe the name is actually going to get announced until I actually see it pop up on the screen. And yes, if they do somehow manage to make an in-person event happen, I will absolutely be there, but I don't think there's any chance of that happening. And if we're holding out for that, we probably aren't going to have a team name until at least the first season of the team's actual play. But I do want to end with this. All of the frustration and incredible amounts of frustration around the way that they've handled the team name aside, I do think that pretty much every other decision that the franchise has made to this point and the way that they've been handling themselves has been incredibly well done, especially when it comes to the more recent issues of racial injustice and everything that's gone on with that. The franchise has already, in its skeleton version, made big steps in being one of the most diverse in its hirings as far as team personnel goes. And in the last couple of weeks in particular, I've really thought that they've done as good a job as they possibly could of making sure to get some information that out there in order to support the issues of racial inequality and getting out some material for people that might not understand fully everything that's going on so that we can be able to listen and learn from the people that have been experiencing these things for so long, especially when it comes to the world of hockey. Anyway, again, I'm sorry if that got a little bit ranty, but if you have made it to this point, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, do hit that like button. If you really liked it, do hit that subscribe button. And let me know any thoughts that you have on any of these issues or frustrations or potential team names down in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe out there and treat each other well. Peace.